Hi, this is Dr. Don, and I have a problem out of McClave chapter 3, and this has to do with conditional probabilities. We're given a table of summary data here uh, about uh, two types of meals, lunch and dinner, and whether or not patrons uh, rated the service good or poor. This is a total of 133, and you can see they've given you the column totals down here and the row totals here and the grand total here, which is good if you're trying to do this with a manual calculator, but if you're trying to do it using StatCrunch, it adds a little bit of complexity. So let's see, the first question is, given that the meal was a dinner, what is the probability that service was poor? The way to think about this, if we look over here, dinner is a row. So we need the row values here, and we want to know, given if it's dinner, given gives you the clue that that is the um, assumption, the conditional, and the probability that service is poor. So let's jump in to StatCrunch. Remember, we can go to the little rectangle there, click on Copy to Table, and we'll open in StatCrunch. Okay, we've got StatCrunch open, and here's the problem that we have. For some reason, when they designed this particular problem in my stat lab. They included these uh, row and column totals, and that confuses StatCrunch. So the first thing you need to do is to highlight those and use Control X to delete those totals. And then I'm going to highlight this column and then use Control X to delete that. Now we have just the information StatCrunch can use and not get confused. So we go to Stat, look down until we find Tables, and then we go to Contingency with Summary. Our columns are the Service Good and Service Poor, and then our row labels are the meals. And we're going to go ahead and select the row percent, hold down the Control key, hit the column percent, and the percent of total. And I'm going to go ahead and leave everything else standard and just click Compute. So we get a table here, a contingency table, that we can use to answer our questions. And it looks complex and confusing, but if you remember what I told you, the first question is, given that the meal was a dinner, so we look for dinner, that's in a row, you can see the row is highlighted there, and we want to know what is there probably the service was poor, so we look in the poor column, but we're in the dinner row. We look up here in this legend, you can see that the first number in parentheses is the row percent, the second is the column percent, and the third is percent of total. So we go down here in our dinner row, we go to the service poor column, and we want the row percent, and that's 61.54%, and remember we need to change that back to decimal, so it would be 0.615, which is the answer over here. The second question is, if the respondent gives a good tip, that's the given, that, uh, excuse me, gives a good rating, that's the given, what is the probability the respondent had lunch? So we look over here in the service good rating, this is a column number, and we're looking at what is the probability that if the service rating was good, that it was lunch. So we look up here, we want the column percent, which is the second number, and that is here, 66.67 or 0.667 if we convert that to decimal. And that is the answer there. So we can answer the last part, part C, as well using this contingency table. The question is, are the events poor service and dinner independent? Well, we can look at that two different ways, and we're going to look at the answer here. The way they're looking at it is the probability of poor given dinner equal to or not equal to Poor. So let's look over here in our table. Poor, the probability of poor, we look down in this column, service poor is down at the bottom, that's 58 out of 133, which is, if we look at the percent of the total, which is the last uh, value in parentheses, 43.61%. Uh, the probability of poor given dinner is this row, remember, because we've got given, that's the clue that it's the, the thing after the bar. So we look at the row percent, which is 
61.54. Because 61.54 is not equal to 43.61, then they are not independent. And so that's your answer here. No, because the probability of poor given dinner is not equal to the probability of poor. Hope this helps. <laughs>